All right, 615, one more day to just kind of get through, and yeah. then it gets good, right? It, it does. Or I better. Mean, it, it gets a lot better tomorrow just because our temperatures will be much warmer. And then it gets really sweet, like finally an extended stretch of sunshine. And so if you were going to take like next week off, like that would be a great week to have off, right? It, it would be. What brilliant human might have it planned that? Uh, what? I'm off next uh, week. What? I, I didn't even know that. <laughs> are you sticking around or are you getting out of Dodge? I am, I am purging the house that I've lived in for more than 20 years. <laughs> oh my gosh. Like dumpster and everything? Yeah, yeah. Oh, Heads up, nice. you know, way station or whatever it's called now in, in my town. Yeah. <laughs> coming, coming in, coming with in a hot. Coming in <laughs> hot. Choo -choo. <laughs> nice. You going to put a lot of that stuff at the swap shop or no? Is some it, of it. Is it just it. going straight? Some of it will go to Goodwill, but a lot of it will yeah. just go to yeah. the heap. All righty, let's, uh, let's chat a little weather, shall we? It's uh, April, it's spring, yet it's going to be a little wintry around here later today. A lot of Maine has winter weather advisories for this afternoon through tomorrow morning. Icing a big concern. Along the coast, there aren't any. We're going to stay near freezing or above it, so I do not expect any problems for the coast. This morning, you can see the cold air, Rangeley, Greenville, Caribou, where it's only 20, and that air is bleeding south. We're now below freezing in Bangor, approaching it in Augusta and Lewiston, and along the coast, we're safely above. There is some precipitation out there, but it's super, super light, and it's very spotty. A couple of sprinkles, pellets, or flakes. I think our commute is fine, though, based on what I see. As we look down the road a little bit, there's heavier precipitation back here in the Great Lakes in southern Canada. And we've got cold high pressure driving that surface air south. So that will encounter much colder conditions. And that's why we're going to have an icing concern later today and tonight. Cloudy and raw out there this morning. Nothing heavy, so roads are in good shape. Really no change for the middle of the day. It stays cloudy. It stays raw. A few light showers of rain or sleet around. Maybe some snow showers up north. Temperatures will be dropping, though. As I just showed you, it's around 40 in Portland, but it'll be mid 30s this afternoon and Lewiston, Augusta, Bangor, Bar Harbor. We're all right around 32. This evening is when that steadier precip arrives that I just showed you in the Great Lakes. Five o'clock, we have sleet and freezing rain over the interior, some snow up north, and that expands as the evening progresses. Rain showers, freezing rain showers and some sleet up north. And that's when roads after dark could start to get a little slick away from the coastline. Overnight tonight, that batch of moisture actually shifts east and there won't be a whole lot tomorrow morning to contend with. This is 5 a.m., but there will be some drizzle of rain or freezing drizzle over the interior. As we go through the morning, that continues, but by midday we're above freezing. So tomorrow morning's commute is the only challenging commute tomorrow. By the afternoon, it's around 50. Cold fronts coming through with some plain old rain showers at that point, and they may be briefly on the heavy side. No icing concerns for the coast. Inland, I do expect glazes on limbs, branches, decks, stairs. Roads are probably okay. It's really tough to get a solid glaze on them this time of the year. But some road crews will need to go out, especially in the mountain valleys and the central Maine Highland valleys too. And you're probably asking why there isn't as much ice up in the county. That's because the entire column of air is going to be below freezing and that supports more snow, like two to four inches of snow from Millinocket north and then a little glaze of ice on top of that. But it's more snow up north than it is ice in between. It's the icing concern by Friday. We're clearing out. Saturday and Sunday both look gorgeous. A little crisp on Saturday, mid 40s. Easter Sunday, 50 degrees. That great weather looks like it'll hold next week, too. Small crafts are up, seas three to five feet, and winds out of the northeast, 15 to 25 knots. Chilly day today, highs in the mid 30s. Uh, we'll see some afternoon of a light mix and some rain, and then tonight some icing. Tomorrow it's milder with rain showers near 50. Clearing out on Friday, but blustery. Saturday, nearly perfect, about 45, sunny, lighter wind. Easter Sunday, 50 degrees. Next week, even warmer, probably 60 plus. And it might be a few days of 60 plus. Like a nice little stretch there going into next week. Happy birthday to you, Mr. <laughs> I know, I can't wait. <laughs> what do you get for yourself? There you go. Uh, nice weather. All right. I'll take it. Still